As of now, we have only explored less than 5% of the ocean. For this reason, it's not that surprising that there is still much to be discovered. However, even with the vast amount of water we haven't explored, we've still discovered some amazing places or we have knowledge of their existence. Today, we're going to look at some incredible cities that were fully submerged underwater. So sit back, relax, grab a taco, and join me for 10 amazing underwater cities that will blow your mind. Number 1 is Atlit Yam. Atlit Yam was a Neolithic village located in Israel that existed between the years of 6900 BC and 6300 BC. For its time, it was very developed in the realm of marine technology. It was stated by experts that a tsunami more than likely caused the village to submerge underwater, and after this, it was lost for thousands of years. Many experts would have been under the assumption that searching for the ruins of a village that were over 8,000 years old would be a futile endeavor. However, in 1984, they were actually found by a marine archaeologist who was initially looking for shipwrecks. The remains of houses had been found, along with burial sites and structures that may have been used as tables. One of the biggest discoveries that spawned from this finding was the skeleton that was found. With this finding, experts were able to see the earliest known cases of tuberculosis and a great insight into what the human structure was like thousands of years ago. Number 2 is Fuxin Lake. Fuxin Lake is the second largest freshwater lake in China with its deepest point reaching 157 meters. People who lived near the lake often stated that they could see the silhouette of a town. While this seemed ludicrous, they may have actually been telling the truth, because in 2001, a deep sea diver found the ruins of a lost city. There were eight primary buildings discovered, including a massive building that had a 63 meter wide roof, five floors, and was 21 meters in height. Many people have tried to pinpoint what city this could have been, however it is still unanswered. Number 3 is Heraculon. Heraculon is a city that dates back to the 12th century BC. It was once a thriving area located near the city of Alexandria. Its economy peaked between the 4th and 6th century, however it sank in the 2nd or 3rd century. At first, explorers had an immense amount of difficulty finding it, However, the underwater archaeologist Frank Goodio did eventually find it in the year 2000. It was 2.5 kilometers off the coast, and it was under 30 feet of water. Along with the discovery, they found various statues, structures, and coins that were over 1,000 years old. Number 4 is Olus. Olus is an ancient, sunken city located in Greece. At one stage, it had a population of over 30,000 people and a stable economy to its name. However, the actual design of Olus's structure was unstable, as it was built on coastal sands. Because of this, it was unable to survive the wrath of a major earthquake and it sunk to the bottom of the bay it was built on. Tourists can visit the area today, but the remnants of the city are almost haunting, as there is very little of the actual city that can be seen apart from the tip of a few wall bases. Very little was recovered from the actual ruins, however a few statues and structures can be seen underwater. The most notable recovery that was made was some ancient texts that archaeologists discovered that helped provide some extra context for a part of Greek history. Number 5 is Shicheng. The submerged city of Shicheng is located in the depths of Qiondo Lake in China. It was considered a county from the year 208 onwards, but it was purposely flooded in 1959 by the Chinese government in order to replace it with a dam. This meant the relocation of their entire population, which was 300,000 people. The Chinese government revisited it in 2001 in order to check on its status for construction and educational purposes. And in this expedition, we learned a lot about the city's history. For one, the city had an immense amount of art to its name, with around 265 archways being located in the city, most of which featured very detailed drawings of lions, dragons, and phoenixes, with some of the art dating back to the late 1700s. Number 6 is Pavlo Petri. Pavlo Petri is one of the oldest submerged cities in the Mediterranean Sea at over 5,000 years old. Located in Greece, Pavlo Petri is only the modern name given to this city, as its original name has been lost in time. 
It was discovered in 1967 by Nicholas Fleming and was mapped one year after this. It's believed that the city is more than likely over 3,000 years old. However, after it was mapped extensively in 2009, it turns out that the layout of this city is currently exactly the same as it used to be. The area around the city suffered three extensive earthquakes that did some irreversible damage and sunk the entire city to the ground. However, research is currently ongoing and not that much is actually known about the city's history in general. Number 7 is the ancient city of Lord Krishna. Dwarka is a small city in India that is known for an array of reasons. One of the most famous being an excavation that occurred in the 1900s and was responsible for the discovery of a number of submerged settlements that were created in the name of the religious god, Krishna. This discovery spawned the findings of a number of ancient relics and structures that helped provide insight to Indian culture in the past. Not only this, but the government in that area proposed an idea that consisted of the ancient city being used to host a scuba diving site, which is the only known time a government has attempted to utilize a sunken city for tourism. Number 8 is the city in the Gulf of Kaaba. The Gulf of Kaaba is a gulf that has been heavily researched and analyzed because it's known to be an area where many archaeological discoveries take place. This mostly spawned from an ancient civilization that was discovered in 2001. It was found 20 kilometers from the coast and had a span of 9 kilometers and was 30 to 40 meters deep. The settlement had a number of structures and buildings, including a citadel, and also had its own relatively well-developed drainage system, which is surprising because it's said to have been over 4,000 years old. This find was a very important one, as it made the Gulf of Kabat a popular area to search, which turned out to be beneficial as future searches helped find more objects, including fossilized bones and a piece of wood that was almost 10,000 years old. Number 9 is Phanagoria. Phanagoria was, at one stage, one of the largest cities in ancient Greece. It was founded in 543 BC and became one of the most powerful cities in the country through its trading systems. However, a large chunk of the city sunk into the Mediterranean Sea due to the way it was built. For years, the location of Phanagoria was unknown until it was eventually found sometime in the 18th century. Excavations took place from 1822 onwards as many pieces of gold and silver artifacts were being discovered and had a mass amount of value. It became a difficult area to scuba dive in due to its depth, but some divers did so anyway. One of those divers was actually the current president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Number 10 is Igorata. Unlike most cities on this list, Igorata actually sunk very recently in 1969 and was actually flooded deliberately in order to build a dam. However, in early 2015, around the time Brazil was hit with its worst drought in 80 years, the sunken city actually re-emerged and the ruins of it became visible, showing the town's church, the main street, and an array of buildings that were now completely destroyed. The city's population was relocated in 1969, and the new area has almost 10,000 civilians. But seeing your old home emerge from the depths of a lake must have been a strange sight. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you want to subscribe for similar top 10s every single week, you can do just that. But I hope you enjoyed your taco, and as always, until next time.